Oh, I see I was recording. All right, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> okay. Uh, enable literal admit all. Okay. All right, welcome. Come on in, everyone. some seconds just to get your audio together and so forth, get settled. All right. All right, great. So before we um, formally get started, um, just to let everyone who is in this space, um, we are going to record this session. Um, so if you, um, you know, if you want to keep your cameras off, that's perfectly fine. Um, if you have any questions, you're welcome to just unmute yourself and ask a question. If you do not want to be seen um, on the camera when you ask um, in the video when you ask your question, um, you could just you know just use the audio. Okay, so just want to let you know that. Um, if you need to, you know, if there's any conflict with like class schedule or um, anything like that, you need to leave early. You're welcome to do so as well. No problem. Um, we'll provide. We'll have the recording available afterwards. Okay. All right. Great. So I'm just going to pull up the presentation and then uh, we'll formally get started. Oops. All right. All right, welcome everyone. Welcome to Navigating an Internship, Closing Out the Experience. Um, this is the third part of the Navigating an Internship series. My name is Camille Hall. I am the Associate Director for Internships and Student Employment here. And I'm joined by my colleague who will have her introduce herself. Hi everyone, I'm Zena Jones. I'm the Internship Program Coordinator at Beyond Barnard. And welcome to you all, thanks for coming. All right, great, so let's get started. All right, so just a um, quick agenda for today, today's session. Um, goals are, are to share actionable steps for ending your summer internship and just review some key questions that will help you reflect on your experience. Um, as we're going through the slides, you're welcome again to um, unmute yourself, ask questions. You can um, put questions in the chat um, if that's what you prefer, um, but you know, I'll. I'll make sure that we'll make sure that we um, pause for any questions that might come up along the way. All right. All right. So let's talk about this. So does the internship really have to end? Um, maybe not. Um, some of you are in summer internships where you're like, wow, this is, has been like a really great learning experience. Um, perhaps I want to, you know, continue this into the fall semester, but I'm not sure if there's like a posting. There's no problem with asking your um, supervisor, uh, you know, that you that you may want to stay. Um, so, you know, I would say this is like around a good time, um, especially if you're having like any meetings with your supervisor or any check-ins, um, to ask them about that possibility to stay if that's something that you do desire. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you you know be very specific as to like you know what you can what else you can contribute to the internship opportunity the summer internship that you have now there may may have been like you know like a specific project that you worked on or um specific goals that you had to meet and you know you probably met them or almost at com completion but you may be in this environment and you may see some other needs or some other gaps um, or other things um, potentially that the organization or company can work on moving forward that you know that you can um, contribute. So this is a perfect time, you know, when you do, if you're interested to stay, when you bring up that, that you would like to, you know, continue, you want to make sure that you have some key bullet points as to what you can um, contribute for the, for the fall potentially. Um, do know, be realistic also, know what will your limitations be once school starts. Because remember, 
you would be going from a full-time internship experience to a part-time, potentially, yeah, but part-time, um, I guess more so a part-time internship experience, given the fact that your, um, your school schedule will probably be um, a lot more um, uh, um, heavy or you know, more comprehensive than it is like um, now. Um, and then at the end of the day, the worst thing they could say is no, but at least you have asked. Um, and that way, you know that, you know, that opportunity can't, you know, continue on to the fall. Then you know that you can set up gears or prepare for seeking out other opportunities for the fall. Okay. All right. So moving on. So if you must go, here are a few things to do and expect. So for those of you who are, you know, you're basically like, okay, I, when, once the summer internship is complete, you know, that I've, you know, completed that summer internship, I want to move on to something else, or maybe not. Um, key thing is that when you're leaving your summer internship experience, that you finish your work. It's not over yet. So you want to make sure you keep working. Um, you know, there may be some feelings of like, oh, you know, I have a couple weeks left and, you know, you may, you may have some, I don't know, some vacations planned. And are you just getting your mindset ready for um, the school year um, that's coming up? Try to keep that energy going until you are, till you meet the last day of your internship. Because um, keep in mind that sometimes it's not just how you start, it's how you finish. So you want to make sure that you stay focused on your assignments, using your time and your, ta and your um, and man task management skills. And then also, you know, as you're, moving towards the end of your internship, even more so when you begin. And you want to make sure that you keep your supervisor informed about your progress. Something that we've discussed um, in the beginning of this series is keeping track of your, you know, your accomplishments, things that you contribute, like a little journal or just like a, a bullet point list of things that you've done along the way. Make sure that you know, during this time frame that you, you know, you're keeping your supervisor, your um, employee, internship employer informed about all of that great progress. So supervisor um, considerations. Some, some of you might have supervisors that are, you know, extremely busy. You may not have had a lot of, I guess, like consistent contact with them over the summer. Some of you Probably, you know, it has been very consistent, regardless of whatever the situation has been. Remind your supervisor of your last day. Um, therefore, I guess the date doesn't like, you know, approach them and they're like, oh my goodness, I didn't know, like, you know, this, this Friday is going to be your last day, or I totally forgot. Um, and they may forget just because they just have a lot of things on their plate, um, given the, the supervisor or the, or the leadership role that they have. So make sure that you remind your supervisor of your last day, ask your supervisor about closing activities, any activities that, um, you know, that needs to be, um, uh, I guess, like closed out or um, uh, wrapped up before you leave, um, just so, you know, when you leave that particular project that is complete, um, be, be prepared for a meeting to discuss your experience. And that's something we'll talk a little bit more in this um, session, um, but be, be prepared to, for me to discuss your experience. And in that meeting where potentially you could discuss your career goals with your supervisor, because even if you're not continuing with that internship, they may be able to offer you some, you know, some great feedback for about other opportunities you may want to pursue, um, things to think about moving forward. Just they might offer you some really great advice on the next steps um, for another learning experience that you may um, be interested in. Okay. So some tools. Um, LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is a really good um, professional um, platform uh, where it allows you to connect with your colleagues um, so you can easily stay in touch. So this is also a really good time to, if you haven't already, um, you know, keep track of like the close contacts that you've made, 
um, and you know, have made or potentially want to um, develop or foster those relationships um, after you leave your um, internship. Understandably, um, for a lot of you who have worked um, remotely, that may have been um, difficult, um, just given the fact of the distance and the virtual uh, work atmosphere. Um, but LinkedIn tends to be a really good tool um, to, to, you know, keep in contact with people, almost like a, like a virtual, you know, Rolodex, if you know what I'm referring to, um, to keep track of, um, you know, people who are in a network um, that you want to stay affiliated with. So LinkedIn is a really good tool for that. And it's also a really good tool for you to highlight, you know, your, your summer internship that you just had, things that you have done, um, use it as like a, you know, a virtual um, resume to keep your network up to date with the things that you have um, accomplished. So for um, your LinkedIn and also your resume, you definitely want to make sure you reflect on your summer experience and use the information to update your resume and LinkedIn profile. Um, with your resume, you know, you want to make sure that you put this information on paper, like while it's still, you know, very present, fresh in your mind. Um, and then later on, you could um, format it appropriately. Um, it's just to make sure that you don't forget some of the key details um, or the descriptive language um, that you, you know, may want to use that you, well, that you will want to use um, to best portray the work that you've done. So this is a really good time to, you know, jot down some notes that you could put on your resume um, later on. Um, also, similar to what I was saying before with LinkedIn, you know, it's a, it's a good opportunity to, you know, add some descriptive language, you know, to emphasize the scope of your accomplishments uh, in the, on that virtual um, format, on that, on that um, social platform or professional platform that your network can uh, review and keep up to date as to like your skills, your contributions, and just how you're growing um, professionally. And I'm going to, I believe I'm gonna pause here. I think I'll pass the baton to my um, colleague um, Zina. Okay, thanks, Camille. So um, we'll get right into uh, the thank you notes that um, would be very helpful in um, closing out your experience with your internship. Um, and thank you notes are basically um, what they are. They're just saying thank you to the people who have been uh, particularly helpful over the summer. Um, it doesn't have to be uh, specifically your supervisor, but it can be also other colleagues within the organization that you worked closely with, um, just telling them thank you uh, for however they, you know, guided you through the internship, however they guided you through the work that needed to be done. Um, and pick whatever format works best for you. If you want to um, handwrite them and put them in nice envelopes and, and have nice cards and all of that. Um, there's totally nothing wrong with that. Um, if you want to email them a thank you, a thank you note, um, just like a quick thank you email, um, that's totally fine also. But works whatever works best for you, um, just pick that one and roll with it. Um, and be specific so the receiver knows it's, it's not generic. Um, so, you know, not writing a, just like a one uh, one thank you note for one person and then kind of copying it and sending it to the same people, um, to different people, I mean. Um, so you want to make sure it's, it's very personable to that person um, that you're addressing a note to. Um, any questions so far before we move on? If anybody had any specific questions? Okay. Feel free to, you know, stop stop me uh, whenever if you have any questions that you know you want to make sure you get answered um a lot of frequently asked questions that we get um uh, from students is uh what exactly is an exit interview um and an exit interview is basically um meeting with your supervisor um before the end of your internship and just discussing 
um, what your strengths were, what your weaknesses were, um, if any, and um, just uh, discussing all that information and, and kind of getting some closure on how the internship went. Um, it's a process that varies by company. So make sure you get the specifics from your supervisor and be very careful with candor because you're still on the record. So you may have a, a good rapport with your supervisor and you may you know, share a joke or two, but you know, just make sure that um, you be very careful with it um, because you still, you're still an intern, you're still an employee. So you wanna make the best um, last impression possible, so. Um, another question that we, we frequently get is any advice for reaching out to old supervisors for recommendations? So um, the strategy depends on the length of time that has passed. So um, you wanna make sure that if there's any time lapse um, from like the day you started and then uh, you wanna just keep closely um, how, how much time has passed so that you know um, when's a good time to um, request a, a recommendation. Um, inform them of your current goals and provide a resume to fill in the gaps um, in knowledge. So um, it's always okay to, you know, hand them your resume and just have them review it for any feedback or anything like that. Um, and be prepared for a no if they don't think they can be, they can be helpful. Um, so I would say get, you know, get as many possibilities out there um, for recommendation as possible and then, you know, take it from there. Um, another question, how do you keep in touch with your supervisors after leaving? Um, and this is something that's always uh, seems to come up in, um, in any of our workshops. Uh, they, uh, students always wanna know how, what's the best way um, of keeping in touch with the supervisor after you leave. Um, you wanna, make sure that you keep in touch with your supervisor if you plan to stay within the same industry. So um, just making sure that, you know, you, before you leave your internship, um, you provide your email, you provide your information, um, and just suggest that, you know, we can keep in touch um, in the email. That's, that's probably the almost standard way of doing it. Um, LinkedIn also makes this easy if impersonal. So if you connect with them on LinkedIn, it's, that's kind of like, you know, you don't have to kind of do the legwork of, you know, sending a, a, a last note with your information and all of that. You can definitely connect on LinkedIn and, that's, and that makes it uh, a little bit easier. Um, direct, communication make, direct communication make it more personal, but requires more effort. So um, again, if you, you know, you go the LinkedIn route, that's perfectly fine. And if you go the email route, that's also fine. Um, so whichever way you decide to uh, maintain contact with your supervisor, um, I would say do it as soon as possible, um, way before your um, internship ends. And um, just some final thoughts and questions for Reflection, um, you always wanna you know, evaluate what you've learned from your internship and what you still want to learn. Um, there's never like a, never a teachable moment. So you always wanna make sure you go through um, all, of, all of the things that you've learned. Um, uh, think about what surprised you the most of, within this industry um, and what your three major ac accomplishments were um, throughout the internship. So. Um, like Camille said earlier, making notes and keeping a journal of what you've done throughout the internship um, really helps because you can highlight um, a lot of the big projects that you've accomplished or anything um, that was a major contribution to the internship. You want to make sure you keep notes of and details of all those things. And at, at this point, um, we're towards the end of the slide presentation, but we do wanna open up the floor for specific questions that you may have that you may wanna ask us, um, or if there are anyone, if there is anyone on the, in this space that would like to 
share any of their, you know, some thoughts based on the questions that we've um, provided here, you're welcome to do so. Um, so I just want to make sure we open the space for all of you to do that. And we'll pause, this is a check the chat, to see if there's any questions or if anyone wants to unmute themselves, you're welcome to do so as well. While some of you may be getting your thoughts together, something that I also remind all of you um, is that you are more than welcome to reach out to um, Beyond Barnard, the team, um, to talk in more detail about any specific situations about, let's say, pursuing um, the internship that you're at now, um, strategies around the exit interview, um, discussing in more detail um, how to get connected with um, individuals in um, your network, any affiliation. And, um, just know that there, you know, Beyond Barn obviously is a, is a resource that you can all tap into. Any questions or concerns? If not, I'm going to actually just move this on to just the last page. If you want to reach out to us directly, feel free to do so via e our email, um, or you can email Beyond Barnard directly. Um, I'm actually going to stop the share. Um, for now and then if there are any questions or concerns um zina and i will be on to answer that but we are excited that all of you are you know moving towards the end of your internship um we look forward to hearing um all that you've contributed this summer um and feel free to again reach out to both of us or members of the barnard team to help you as you um conclude your experience this summer I also wanted to just add that um, if you have any specific situations that are happening at your internship, um, anything that uh, you might need help with, like with exiting your internship, if you need to directly talk with your supervisor about maybe ending your internship a little early, or um, maybe the your situation has changed and you and you need to stay a little, um, just you need to probably you know. Uh, leave a little early. Um, I would suggest meeting with a, um, an advisor and advising in programs at Beyond Barnard um, just to, you know, get specific guidance on how to on how to deal with that. But um, please schedule an appointment um, to meet with a, an advisor if you need additional guidance. That's it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, so if there's any questions, concerns, uh, feel free, we're here. If not, um, I understand that you all have very busy schedules. Um, so yeah, if you need to depart, that's perfectly fine. Um, we hope that you have a good rest of the day. You're welcome. Absolutely. You're welcome. Thanks for coming out. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> All righty. Um, just to make sure those who are still here, did you have any questions? Yeah, I did. Sorry. Oh, okay, um, great. <laughs> um, so I'm like in a, like I'm doing like a research assistant position at a like public health lab at MGH. Um, and I like kind of like what we're doing, and it's like kind of interesting, but I think I want to look for like, I don't know, like stuff that like within Columbia that I can do during the fall semester before I reach out to ask about continuing with them. But it's like, I would like if I don't get anything from Columbia, like I still I haven't like started reaching out and which and I'll do that very shortly. And my internship ends on the 20th of August, but um. I like want to like reach out to Columbia first before saying like, oh shit, like I want to like, can I continue into the fall because they don't pay their research assistants and I think I can get something paid at Columbia if um, like, I'm like, like I, it's like more possible than it would be with them. And so I was wondering what you suggest about like how I should navigate, like, like how should I present it so as to not like pigeonhole myself with this 
by just only saying that I want to like continue into the fall? That's a good question. Um, I think that your the approach that you mentioned is not a bad one. You said the, the internship you're at now ends August 20th. Um, yeah. So that gives you almost a, like, let's say a little less than a month. This is a good time if you are, if you want to explore other options to reach out um, mm -hmm. to uh, other, like, like you said, at Columbia, um, you can also maybe ask your current internship, like, what are the possibilities of possibly staying at where you are, but not necessarily, like, there's no confirmation yet that you would be able to even um, stay okay. there, you know, so they're like generally pretty like if if we ask i can be reasonably like i can be like 75 percent sure they'll probably say like yeah you can continue into the fall they're like pretty they're like pretty open to gotcha gotcha and have they have they addressed to you okay and have they like expressed to you like if you're interested in staying for the fall we need to know by this date have they offered you that information they we haven't i haven't heard anything in that direction okay okay um because i would say perhaps reach out to columbia reach out to the other um organizations or opportunities that you're interested in um soon like now or in this time frame uh -huh. um and then perhaps in the next couple next couple of weeks then um, see where your status is with those, but then also ask um, where you are now. Um, perhaps, um, you know, what would be, I guess like when would be the latest that I need to let you know if I, you know, wanna stay here? Like I'm considering staying here, um, but I just wanna know when would you need to know that by? Just to kind of okay. get a sense okay. of where yeah. I'll do that then. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Great question. Now, thank you so much for asking. Um, for the other students that are on the line, did you have a specific question or questions you want to ask? Zina and I, you're welcome. Mia uh, or Dana, Dana. Okay. If you don't have any questions, um, then I guess we're going to close um, the Zoom room, okay? Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, Zita. Okay, well, thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, thanks for coming, both of you. Thanks for coming, bye.